Welcome to today's three minute gold farming guide. Today I'm going to show you in three minutes or less how to farm Sunken Temple in about 15 minutes for 500 to 700 gold per hour. First thing is you're going to completely ignore this bottom ring and just focus on the ring of troll mini bosses and then clearing the dragons underneath. Step number one, come kill the opening packs and move up the staircase. After these two are dead, you're going to move up this staircase here and then further up this staircase. If you have rocket boots uh, or any movement speed buff, now is a good time to use it. Once you get to the ledge where you have some enemies again, aggro them and move into the troll mini boss just to the right. Once you have everybody aggroed, quickly kill them and move on to the upper ring. If the first troll mini boss spawns some adds, they can be safely ignored. Moving up these stairs into the ring, when you first get here, take a right. This will ensure that when you finish the ring, you can drop down exactly where you need to go. As you go through this ring, remember some doorways are on the right, and you will head down a set of stairs, and other doorways are on the left. These ones, you will also head down a set of stairs, but it's a little more clear that you're coming into this circle where the troll mini bosses are. Remember there are six troll mini bosses in total. If you lose track of which number you're on, that's okay. I'll show you how to know you're at the end of the ring. Use rocket boots or figurine hair whenever you have a distance that uh, you can run. Eh, I'll say that again differently. There are six troll mini bosses in total. Once you notice you're in this section on the mini-map where you see a slight V-shape into an open square room, this is the entrance to the last troll mini-boss. When you get here, don't enter immediately. Continue on and grab these last two groups of trash mobs. This provides a decent bit of extra mage weave cloth which adds a little bit to your gold per hour. And it really doesn't take that much longer to get them cleared. Once you've killed the last troll mini boss, there will be a text call out that says the shield is down. If you don't see this call out, it means you missed one of the mini bosses and you should look around to see which one you missed. If you haven't missed any, turn to the right and jump down the platform here. Ignore all of the dragons for now. Feel free to rocket boots or use other speed enhancers when they're off cooldown. This room here with the profit will auto aggro when you grab the profit, except for this pack and this pack sometimes have a glitch where they do not aggro when the profit is aggroed. Simply aggro the profit, let everybody come to you, AoE them down, and then once you've killed the main units, Go back and clean up the priests while the ghosts chase you around the room. If the ghosts end up hitting you, it's really not that big of a deal because there's such a big level difference at this point anyway. On your way back out of that room, ignore all of the dragons again, hugging the walls to ensure you don't draw aggro from any of the groups of dragons. Take your first left after being in the main circle room, and that will take you to the end boss, the Shade of Iranicus. Again, ignore all the dragons on the way there. Once you attack the Shade of Iranicus, all of the dragons and dragonkin will automatically come to you. So simply down the Shade of Iranicus, take out any others that come with it. Simply take out the Shade of Iranicus, and then wait for the rest of the dungeon to come to you. It isn't necessary, but if you would like, you can prioritize the other dragon mini bosses as they have knockbacks and other abilities that can sometimes make the clear take a little bit longer. As the dragons gather around you, simply AoE them down, and if you would like, as they start dying, you can stretch out the corpse line to make it easier to loot at the end. Once all of the dragons are down, begin looting, and if you are a skinner, skin all of the dragons and dragonkin as well for an extra 100 to 200 gold per hour. In order to exit the dungeon and reset, simply go back into the main chamber where the big circle is, walk straight to the other side, and then take a right when you get into the next room. 
During this time, organize your bags if you plan on running again. When you get to this area, take a right and follow this staircase down to the entrance of the dungeon.